Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. I thought I'd put out another video today. I've been um, really annoyed about a couple of things lately. It's um, It's been happening for, for a while, those of us who have noticed the um, cancerous infection by the politically correct SJW, um, now known as NPC, Marxist, postmodernist, etc., 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 ideology infecting all parts of um, film and TV and all the rest of it. Um, that's had an effect on <clears throat> on those of us who try to um, engage in and exercise awareness, perhaps more than others, to um, cocoon ourselves in our own little world filled with the things we enjoy for our hobbies, um, enriching, empowering, um, joy-inducing things. Like, I've got my library of books, library of CDs, I've got my, my guitars, I have my gaming, very select uh, films and TV shows that I enjoy watching. I stay away from news of any and all sorts and all kind of try to stay away from uh, mainstream media as much as I can. Uh, those of us who have been engaged in it for a long time realize how difficult and challenging that is at times and yes you do backslide and then you realize and you think okay no I won't do that. So yes it's a process it, it's like anything with with enough practice and work you, you master it and you get past it. But what's really, really pissing me off lately um, is the increasing killing off of our beloved film and book franchises with this same cancerous ideology. Um, Star, Star Trek has bitten the dust. Star Wars is, is, is dead, except for the um, extended universe books, which I love so much. The Thrawn trilogy and all those wonderful... Timothy Zahn and Kevin J. Anderson books. You people have saved Star Wars um, through literature. But as far as films and so forth, the moment that we found out Disney bought Lucasfilm, we knew Disney, and we knew um, Star Wars had died. And it has been proven correct through this infection of fake female empowerment, political correctness. Let's have our quota of minorities and um, disadvantaged people or what they seem as disadvantaged or minorities people. <clears throat> and on it goes. And the la <laughs> I suppose in a way it's humorous. Um, those of us who have read read these books from the very first one realize you can really never read these books again because you always think about this rubbish at the back of at the back of your mind. What am I talking about? Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling has effectively killed her own book franchise. I'm sorry, but. Um, didn't we have enough revisionism from Constantine's cronies and the so-called early church? You know, the same morons who decided which books went into the New Testament and which were considered, quote-unquote, scripture or not. And wonderfully revisionist morons like um, Augustine and uh, Eusebius, you know. That's kind of morons. Yes, my fuckers, we're having that kind of crap again. <clears throat> this time through J.K. Rowling herself. And one thing that strikes me from all this fuckery going on is why are you people so obsessed with sex? Freud would have a fucking field day with that one. Um, in the above case... It's a series of children and young adult books. Why would you be obsessed with sex or um, sexual orientation at all? 
Oh, Hermione is, um, is black. No, she's not. She's an Anglo-Saxon girl. It's like, um, the, the whole uh, Homer, um, story. I, I can't even tell you the, the name of that stupid TV show. Um, about Achilles and, you know, Troy and all that stuff. I, um, no, he wasn't black. He wasn't from Africa. He was from Thessaly. He looks like I do. Okay, can you stop stealing my people's mythology and twisting it around and misappropriating it for your own cultural, political agenda? Bullshit. Thank you. I do not and will never understand the reason and the thinking behind this. I mean, other than the, it's a tool of inversion and it's designed to divide and fuck us up and turn our perspectives upside down and um, destroy the foundational bedrock of, you know, society and culture and all the rest of it, which helps to inject our quest for individuality with assurity and all the rest of that wonderful stuff. But that's... That's a different topic. But um, it's really pissing me off. Why are you people so fucking obsessed with sex and sexual orientation? Just write a fucking good story and write a good cunt of a character and we will be engaged with it. Lando Calrissian fucks robots now or, or anything. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So, pentacle. So, that includes children. Right? If he fucks everything, that would include logically... Oh, there's that evil word again. Logic. Children. And, of course, you had that... The moron of morons. Chuck Wendig. Who decided to... Sully, the um, hallowed and sparkling reputation that is the Lord of the Rings. Oh, there are too many white guys. Uh, well, firstly, you clueless fucking cunt. There is no such thing as a white race. My race is different than those from England. And those from Spain. And those from Russia. Those are different fucking races. You clueless fucking cunt. So thereby, with that thinking, the six years of racism I got in high school was for nothing. Right? And it, it cracks me up. Only Americans are caught up in this black and white bullshit. The rest of the world doesn't give a fuck. Black or white, there is no fucking white race. Wake the fuck up and use your fucking brain. Middle Earth, in case you... Okay, this might be shocking for some of you SJW morons. Is not a real world, much as I would love it to be. There are some times when humanity pisses me off where I would... In, I would love to go out and kill some orcs. With the Rohirrim. That would be fucking fantastic. But we're left with releasing that um, frustration through listening to death and black metal. So thank you, Gorgoroth and Dumu Borgo. <laughs> fucking hell. It really is the dumbing down of everything. It's fucking incredible. And everyone's still arguing about it all. I haven't seen that silly Grunewald film. I never will. She single-handedly killed Harry Potter and I have no intention of reading any of those books ever again. I'm happy with my literature. Thank you very much. And my, if I say so myself, impressive book collection. And so, which comes to my final point after my little rant here. Instead of focusing on excellence, on improving and heightening the gift of imagination through literature or whatever form it may take, which empowers and ennobles the human spirit and enables us to feel better about ourselves through um, being able to identify with a certain char beloved character that we form a bond with. 
which speaks for the archetypal human journey through life, right? Which is why mythology is still beloved and still studied many hundreds and even thousands of years after it was fucking written. They still make, make TV shows and films about the Trojan War for fuck's sake. And that was written in the 8th century, at least, BCE. So how about, here's a novel idea. Writing engaging stories with good storylines, intricate and well-developed storylines... Um, filled with well-written characters with whom we can appreciate and love and identify with. How's that for a fucking novel idea? So no, I will not be watching... Um, Avengers Endgame. I I um I actually haven't fully seen um The Last Jedi, actually. <laughs> Neither will I. Uh I do not intend on seeing episode nine. Um I do not intend on seeing pretty much any film unless it really is worth my time and money. Which is why I'll just go back and lose myself in my beloved nineteen thirties and forties films. Because they actually were written with the above ideal characteristics in mind. The Lone Wolf on guitar. Annoyingly out. <laughs>